what if I end up alone? We're going to be talking about that in today's video. Let's jump into it. So I think this is a big question. Um, I, not only just from my own mind, because I know I've had this thought sometimes, but I've heard it from some of you guys on Instagram with this idea that like, what if I'm like alone? What if I end up alone? What if God kind of forgets about me in this area of relationships? What if he never brings anybody for me to marry? What do I need to do to make sure I don't end up alone? What if I'm doing something wrong? Maybe I'm missing out on my opportunity. Maybe all the people around me are getting married. Maybe all these questions and I can sense and I can, you know, really identify in my own heart too. There's a sense of anxiety that's associated with this area oftentimes because we want to be in a relationship eventually. We don't want to be alone. We don't want to be lonely. We want to have that meaningful connection that we see in other um, couples in our lives. We want that for ourselves. And we hope God has those things under control, but sometimes we get in this area of, oh no, what if, what if, what if, what if? And then we stop kind of trusting God. And we wonder, maybe I'm leaving a little too much up to God. Maybe I gotta take some of this back. And when we start doing that, we start kind of pushing God away from this area of our, of our life. And we start making decisions to avoid loneliness instead of making those decisions to um, really glorify God in this area of our lives, in this relationship, and finding somebody that you can serve God with and have that meaningful connection with. But instead, we often just kind of like, I don't want to be alone. So we do things that aren't good. And some of these things could be like getting in a relationship when you're not ready or staying with someone when they're not actually good for you. This kind of mentality of saying, well, it's better to stay with him or her um, than being alone. That's not a place we want to be. But you know what's really drawing us to that is this idea of fear. The fear that we experience. We don't want to be alone. We're scared of being alone. So we let that fear dictate our decisions. Well, I'm scared of being alone, so I guess I'll stay with him. Or I'm scared of being alone, so I'll put up with her, even though I think that it's not a good situation. Or maybe I'm scared of being alone, and I'm scared that God has kind of forgotten me about me in this area. Maybe I'll just get in a relationship with the first person that kind of likes me. A lot of these decisions aren't healthy, and they're not spurred out of a desire to honor God as disciples. But they're more spurred out of a fear and whenever we make decisions out of fear or purely fear um, we're off base and I can find myself sometimes in life making these decisions where I'm just avoiding something or I, I'm, I'm scared of something so I'm making this decision we make these decisions because we're scared I make these decisions cuz I'm scared we choose to do things that aren't going to be helpful for us, that God doesn't want us to do, just because of our fear. And also the fact that we're having trouble trusting God in this. If we truly trusted God in this area, I think our fear would be significantly reduced. You think about it, because if I trust God to bring a person to me or, you know, put me in the right circumstance where I do meet that person that I'm eventually going to marry, if I trust God to have that under control, then I can be at peace. Then I can serve him on my day-to-day -day life, not panicking like, oh my goodness, is everyone getting married? Where, you know, where am I gonna meet this person? I feel like my pools of, you know, people are so limited, what's gonna happen? We can be at peace because we trust him. And I think this verse kind of speaks to that is it's in Zephaniah 3, 17. It says, the Lord your God is in your midst a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness and he will quiet you by his love. God has things under control. We can trust him. We really can. And I mean, for me, it's not always easy to trust him. Sometimes I get in that space, like I was talking about earlier of anxiety in this area and just being worried about, does God have everything under control? Do I need to be doing something or like figure something out or like come, come up with a strategy plan? That's kind of my, where my, my mindset goes. Um, but God has things under control and you can trust him. You can believe him. And that's what I want to leave you off with this. At the end of this video, if you get anything from this video, know that God has things under control and you can trust him. He is trustworthy. He won't bring you out to a, an area and leave you there. He won't 
forget about your life. Um, he knows your life. He knows your life better than you do. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I always appreciate you guys watching my videos here. And um, if you like this video, you can uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we're putting out new videos like this all the time. Comment down below what you think about this video. It's a tough topic to talk about because... Um, you know, it brings up a lot of worry and anxiety in some people because we don't want to end up alone, but God has things under control. You can trust him and I'll see you next time. Sounded like veggie tales there. Anyway, bye.